So in this very quick video, we're going to have a look at finding the area between a curve and the x-axis. So it says use integration to find the exact area of the region enclosed by the curve y equals x squared plus 4x, the x-axis, and the lines x equals 3 and x equals 5. So what it wants is this area that I'm about to highlight here. So x equals 3, that's, oh, get a bit closer there, and x equals 5. And it wants us to find the area of this strip here. Now how we do that is using definite integration, that's integration with limits. So we want to integrate the curve, x squared plus 4x dx, but we want to do it between the two limits, 5 and 3. So integrating, that gives us a third x cubed plus 4x squared over 2, between 5 and 3 equals a third x cubed plus 2x squared, simplifying it between 5 and 3. So now, to guarantee maximum marks, even for a potentially wrong answer, uh, we want to get the maximum amount of marks possible, what we should do now is sub in the limits. So, a third 5 cubed plus 2 lots of 5 squared take a third 3 cubed plus 2 lots of 3 squared equals so type that in the calculator so a third of 5 cubed plus 2 lots of 5 squared equals 275 over 3. So 275 over 3. Make that 3 a little bit more legible. Take, and let's replace all the 5s now with 3s. give 27. 27503 take 27 equals, so let's type that in the calculator, 275 over 3 take 27 equals 194 over 3. So the question didn't say show full working, so what we actually could have done in such an instance, now I always prefer to show working but of a shorter time at the end of an exam what I recommend doing is just using the integration button in your calculator. So press the integration button and we're integrating x squared. I'm using the x in the top right hand corner plus 4x. And I'm doing it between 3 is the lower limit and 5 is the upper limit. Which gives me 19403. So that gives us confirmation that we're right. So I'd only recommend doing that if you're short of time. However, it's perfectly acceptable. It's just risky because if you type the wrong number in, get the wrong answer, it's worth no marks. So working always backs it up and helps you get marks for potentially wrong answers. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.